CHI adds control fields to the request, snoop, response, and data flits for cache stashing. These fields are used to indicate the node ID of the stash target. A lower level cache inside an RNF, like the L2 cache, or whether the data pool mechanism is to be used. The request flit uses the following fields for cache stashing. Stash NID indicates the node ID of the stash target. If an RNF is chosen as the target for a stash, the stash NID field is populated with the node ID of the RNF. The stash NID valid field signals whether the value of the stash NID field should be considered when doing the stash. The stash LPID field indicates the logical processor ID within an RNF. This field allows for a lower level cache, like an L2 cache, to be specified as a stash target. And finally, the stash LPID valid field signals whether the value in the stash LPID field should be considered when doing the stash. The snoop flit also contains the stash LPID and stash LPID valid fields. When the cache stash request has the stash LPID valid equal to 1, the HNF uses the same stash LPID and stash LPID valid values from the request in the stashing snoop it generates. In addition to these two fields, the snoop flit adds the do not data pull field. This field is used to tell the stash target whether it can request the data pull mechanism. If you set this field to 1, then the stash target cannot request data pull. The response and data flits both contain the data pull field for cache stashing. This field is set to 1 when data pull is requested, in response to a stashing snoop. The data pull field is set in the response flit for a snoop response without data, and set in the data flit for a snoop response with data.